Hey guys, welcome to my channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how to install an infant carrier car seat into a four-door sedan motor vehicle. The car seat that I'll be using today is the Even Flow Pivot Expand Travel System Stroller. So this infant carrier seat came as part of a kit. So it comes with the base and the car seat. And it's going to be going into a 2009 BMW 3 Series. So what you're going to need for this video, in the event that your back seat has a steep decline, would be the car seat and the base itself, a pool noodle to help fix that issue, some tape to tape the pool noodles together, and an X-Acto knife to cut down the pool noodle. So let's get inside the car and show you what we're going to do. First thing I'd suggest doing is mapping out where you want to put the car seat. Some people prefer it in the center, some people prefer it on the sides. So that's up to you to, to determine where you want that seat located. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be putting it on the passenger side seat. And the reason why I'm going to use the passenger side seat is obviously I'll have a lot more space to play around with. I'll also recommend that for a number of reasons too. That being that when you're operating the motor vehicle and if you're stopped at a red light or you're stopped at a stop sign or you have any time to glance over at your child, whether it's in the winter months, to make sure they're not overheating, you can always fix their blanket or you can always adjust them somehow. But if they're in the center, it's kind of hard to see right behind them. So that's some of the reasons there. I can get into other reasons, but again, that'd be for a topic for a debate and um, we're not doing that today. So for the front seat here, I'm gonna suggest moving it forward. In this particular vehicle here, there's a little lever here. You lift it up, the seat pulls forward, okay? And that will create some space for you to, to work in at the back there. Once you get in the back seat of the vehicle here, you're going to want to look for your child seat latch system. So in this vehicle here, you're going to see it's located on these two little black tabs here. And on the black tabs, you're going to see a picture of a child seat on either of them. All right. And all you're going to do is lift them up. They lift up, they pop out. Okay. You lift it up and it pops out. Okay, we'll take those, we'll set them aside. Put that in the center console right there for now. Okay, and then you're going to take a little peek inside and you're going to see the little levers inside there. So little, the little anchors. So you can get your hand, you can touch them, you can kind of feel around there so you know where they are. Get, get yourself familiarized with them. All right, and that's where the the, um, the belts are going to attach to on the infant carrier seat. So let's go ahead and grab that seat and show you how to fit that in. Another thing I want to keep in mind too is that when you're doing these installations, you want to make sure you do have your fecal manual handy. Inside the manual it's going to show you where to locate the uh, universal latch, all right, when you're transporting your child, how to put that in. Also your tether anchors, if you're going in a forward facing seat, it will show you where it's located in your vehicle. And also for the, the infant carrier itself too, you wanna follow those instructions as well too. Okay, so we'll grab the base and show you how to get that in. And for the purpose of this video too, guys, I am wearing this camera, that way you can see exactly what I'm doing hands on. I can free up both hands and I can just kind of show you inside, outside of the vehicle, what we're doing. Okay, so for this first part of the seat here, we're going to push this center plastic button near here. That's to uh, disengage the, the route belts um, that are locked underneath this right now. So lift this tab up. Okay, now we have access to the the belt itself okay what you also want to do too is you're going to want to loosen the belt as much as you can possible 
And when I say loosen the belt, I mean grab this side over here, the scrape button you're going to press on, and then you're going to loosen it as much as you can possible to get the slack off. Okay. You can see right there, I have a lot of belts here in the car to work with. So lots of belts to work with in the car here. Okay. Make sure you feed these straps underneath this bar here. Make sure that the both straps are lying flat. All right. And when you click these, these hooks onto the, uh, the, the anchor system inside there, to make it easier, I'll say the trunk being the back of the car and the hood where the engine is or the headlights are to be the front of the car. So you're going to take this, you're going to put it above the latch. You're going to push back so towards the trunk and then you're going to push down while pulling forward towards the front of the car. You're going to hear it click and lock into place. So that's how the first one is locked into place there. If you need to get it off, if you feel you just lean correctly, you just do the opposite. You just press up on the bar. So I'll get the other one right here. So they hook over. You're just going to lift up here. You're going to push back towards the trunk, lift up, and then forward. Lift up the, the hook, push back towards the trunk, up and forward to get it out okay so right now i'm pushing up on the bar i'm pushing back towards the trunk and here it's out so i'll put it back on back down and forward locks into place Oops, into the seat in the middle of the seat there on the other side the same thing we're gonna go back, down, and forward, clicks into place. Okay. Place this, the infant carrier into the center of the seat. Use this little, little uh, hook here to pull the slack off. So pull it as tight as you can. All right, so I'm just pulling right now only on, the, on this belt itself. That's basically it. You can take your hand Put a little bit of pressure down or as much pressure as you can. Take a little more slack off as much as you can. Right? Then you're going to place these straps flat down and across. You're going to take this lock off here to lock the route belt down. And then you're going to just take it and you're just going to press down so that this little knob locks back into place. Okay, so I'm gonna use my both hands to push down on it. There you go, it locks right into place. Okay, we can let go. And you're gonna see right here, no movement. This is really firm, nice firm install here. All right, there's also no lifting. It's a very nice install here. So I found, or I find with this even flow infant carrier seat, although there is a ton on the market, they all pass safety specifications, in this case through the Ministry of Transport. Um, you know, all these seats are similar. I just find certain seats easier to put in as I was involved in some car seat clinics working with local uh, law enforcement agencies and ministry units, I found certain seats, particularly this even flow here, was quite uh, user friendly to put in. Okay, so you might wanna just take a peek at that. And then the next thing you wanna do, you wanna grab your infant carrier here. So we'll take the instruction manuals out there. Grab the seat out the trunk. And we're going to clip it into place here. Sorry about that, the camera. And there you go, it's nice and snug right into place. 
no movement side to side. I know they do allow up to an inch movement side to side. However, I like to have it secure in place as best as you can. That way, in the event of a motor vehicle collision, that the car seat can do its job and this part of the car seat here can support the baby's back to absorb the impact of a collision. Okay. You'll also notice on the seat here too that there is something that's called a recline indicator that works off of the weight of the baby. So in this case here, I'm not quite sure if you can see it or not, but it's going to have the weights. So this one's four to 20 pounds in the blue and 20 to 35 pounds in the green. You don't want it in the red at all. And then you can use that according to your baby's weight. Okay. The next thing you can do is with that front seat that we'd moved forward earlier to create some space, you can go ahead and pull it back. You want to keep at least a hand's width between the seat and the carrier. A hand's width meaning this much so that you can slide your hand between the seat and the carrier. So I'll go ahead and slide the seat back and show you what I mean with the hands width. So we'll go back here at the bottom, we'll grab the spar and we'll slide it back. All right, and then you're gonna see back here, I can still get my hand between the seats and the carrier without it, they're not touching each other, all right? What you wanna avoid is the front seat jamming into the carrier, pushing it up. If it pushes it up, it's gonna start loosening the belts over time. All right. Now, I'm just gonna ask you guys, if you did enjoy this content, to please consider subscribing to my channel. While you're doing that, if you can smash the thumbs up button, all right, the thumbs up button, give me a good like and also hit that post notification bell so I can get more content out there to help you guys. All right. And that's all parents. And my objective I want to achieve is to have different seats in different vehicles so that if you're in a different situation, you can watch the video and you're not in a panic mode to try to find the right seat for the right car or what's not it'll be out there to help you all right so i appreciate you guys appreciate you guys tuning in and watching this video and i'll catch you on the next one